Okay, we are in session number two of this week, number three. And we are going to continue with the topic that we were developing yesterday, that was a, a vocabulary related to feelings. Uh, we were talking about uh, some words that we can use to express feelings and emotions. And also you can you have an image uh, at the beginning of the topic in which you can see those emotions and those feelings. And also I uh, send to you the crosswords in which uh, we need to write the uh, feelings that we uh, can find um, depending on the expression or the sentences that we have in the crossword. But um, we are going to see the result for the crossword, um, I think, in the middle of the session, uh, because we are going to wait for the others to come. And I don't know if you have solved the crossword so. In that case, we are going to uh, talk about the answer for the crosswords in the middle of the, um, the session. So in that moment, when we have more participants, we are going to read the words that we need to find in the crossword. And then we are going to say the feelings or the words that we supposed to write in that space. Así que vamos a hablar de los crosswords que tienen en, en el grupo, eh, más o menos a la mitad de la sesión, para darles respuesta, ¿verdad?, a, la, a los ejercicios. So, let me see, let me see, let me see. Yes, we were eh, talking about the vocabulary related to feelings. So, I'm going to share the screen with you, in which you can see the words that we were um, learning yesterday. And we have some kind of words more that we need to write in this list. So, we are going to continue with the list. And then we are going to talk about the crossword and the other exercise that we have for this topic, because we have two exercises for this topic related to feelings. And then we are going to change the vocabulary for the, um, the vocabulary about uh, positions, uh, the vocabulary talking about gestures, and all of that things. So we are going to continue with the uh, vocabulary and the last word that we have is delighted. So we are going to continue from that point. Then we have the next one that is miserable or depressed. And it means sad and without hope. Sad and without hope. Then we have this reminder. This reminder. And it means feeling very strongly. Then you will. You are complete something you decide to do. Then we have disappointed. And this means feeling sad and unhappy. that something did not happen or it did not happen in the way that you wanted or expected.
then we have this stuff. That's um, this word means a, a strong feeling of disapproval or dislike, especially for something that moves if the male case unpleasant. I think that we might appear to feel like kind of fire at this time uh, because it has worked in the whole day from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. and then it's going to work again at 8 p.m. to 10 or even 12. So it feels like kind of fire. So because she is doing this kind of, uh, of thing because she has a, the, the complete or the health connection for um, for it. But she needs to do something like this because she's working very, very hard uh, these days. So we are going to continue because I know that maybe she is kind of tired. So I was saying that this one is uh, especially for something that look a smell face unpleasant. Then we have a substance. And it means extremely fire without energy. That is the definition for my computer because she is very, very exhausted. Then we have accelerate. And it means very happy and excited. Very happy and excited. Then we have gratitude or grateful. And this one means feeling thankful. or something. Then we have happy. But this one means feeling pleased or pleasure. Then we have hate. Then we have also feel hater. This means very strong dislike.
Then we have hopeful. This means full of hope. Feeling that something you want is going to happen. Hysterical. This one is uh, in a state of uncontrolled laughter or extreme excitement. Then we have indignant. And this means very angry because of something that is unfair or wrong. Loading. This one means a feeling of hatred or a strong dislike. Modest. It means not being too proud. Or uh, talking very much about their abilities, qualities, or profession. So we are almost at the end of the vocabulary. So we have just a couple of words more to end this vocabulary about feelings. This one means a strong feeling of shock. and anger. Sad. It means unhappy. Satisfied. Feeling happy about something that happened or pleased that you did something the way you wanted to. Then, green, green. Calm and faithful. Shh. 
Shai or Bashpo. Shai or Bashpo. This one means feeling nervous on or uncomfortable meeting or talking to other people. Silly. This one is a playful, having fun, and not serious. Then we have a sneaky. That means behaving in a secret and dishonest way. Surprise. And it means feeling or showing surprise about something you did not expect, expect to happen. Three more words. We have just three more words. We have witty. That this means starting crying or feeling ready to start crying. Next one is withdraw. And it means very quiet and not wanting to talk to others. And the last one is wonder. A feeling caused by seeing something amazing, beautiful, special, or surprising. So we have a kind of long list of words that we can use to talk about feelings or emotions. And in this case, we have like a good emotions. We have like um, kind of a beautiful emotions, but also we have bad emotions. Because uh, in this case, when we're talking about the emotions, we know that in some cases, uh, we have good or bad uh, emotions, and we need words to express what are those feelings that we have. 
So in that case, we have um, good emotions and negative emotion as sad, uh, angry, uh, witty, sneaky, something like that. So in this case, we have like a mixture of feelings or words that we can use for expressing as the feelings that we have in a specific moment. So it's necessary to expand our vocabulary. So in that case, we have this first vocabulary because we have another one uh, that is related to um, gestures and uh, positions. And also um, it is related to body language and all of that things. So in that case, we are going to have um, a space in which we are going to continue with the activities related to the feelings. And when we complete the activities related to feelings and emotions, we are going to see the other um, vocabulary that we have. So I was saying that yesterday, but let me, let me see if I can uh, put the, um, the image of the crossword in the document. So give me a second, I will move the, um, the exercise that we have in the group. Because we have two crosswords in which we have to uh, put the name of the emotion that is uh, related to the phrase that we have in the space. So give me a moment. Mm -hmm. Let me see, crossword number one. I need to put it in this place. We have the crossword number one, and also we have crossword number two. So let me see, we have here the image. Okay. So we have here the first crossword, that is this one. Mm, I will do it like kind of short. Okay. So we have here the first one, and we have here the uh, phrases that we were going to use um, to solve the crossword. So I don't know if you have a complete uh, this one, but we are going to um, see what are the uh, correct answers for the crossword number one. So we have here. And if you have the answer for each of these emotions, you can tell me or write on the chat uh, if you have the answer. So we have the number four that is across. Number four. And it says, I will put it like this. Silly and thankful for something. It's sign up, long word. If you have the answer, can you tell me what is the day word for uh, feeling thankful for something? Grateful. Oh, good. Grateful. So in that case, we have grateful for the number four. Then we have number eight. Number eight, number eight is also kind of long. And it's feeling happy about something that happened or please you did something you wanted. To do. So in that case, feeling happy about something that happened or please you did something you wanted to do. How can we solve those uh, or that feeling? Cuando estamos feliz de que algo pasó, 
y nos sentimos, ¿verdad?, eh, complacidos de que hicimos algo que siempre quisimos hacer, ¿cómo nos sentimos nosotros? Satisfied. Ah, satisfied, good. That is satisfied. the number eight. Good, amazing. Then we have number nine, feeling slightly angry or irritated at someone. It's slightly, not completed. What is the feeling? Estamos un poco molestos, pero no en realidad molestos, molestos, molestos. What is the name of that feeling? Annoyed. Good, annoyed. That is the correct answer. Then we have feeling, um, number 10, feeling very strongly that you will do something you decide to do. When you decide to do something and you say, nobody can change my mind because I will do it and it is my decision. How do you call that feeling? In that case, is the word determined. Estamos determinados a hacer algo y nadie nos puede sacar la idea de la cabeza. Then, 11, extremely tired and completely without energy. Maybe you can feel like this in this moment. So you can call it. Or what is the name of the feeling? Exhausted. Good, exhausted. Very good, very good. Then we have the next one, down. Number one, calm and having one feeling under control. I am feeling very calm and I'm feeling that I have the control of my emotions. So how can we call that? Because number one is sign up long. What could it be? In that case, we have the word compose. Compose. Then we have number two, sad and without hope. Sad and without hope. It's a long word. We feel depressed. Depressed. Good. We feel depressed. Then number three. Again, a sign of long word. Wanting to know about something or someone that we feel is a strong feeling because we need to know something. And we need to have the information about a specific event or a person. We feel curious. Good, curious. Good, curious. Then we have number five, very quiet and not wanting to talk to others. Very quiet and not wanting to talk with others. Number five is sign of lawn. It's one of the, the last words that we were uh, seeing in the vocabulary. There is withdraw, withdraw. Then we have a feeling fear or being worried about something. Feeling fear or being worried about something. That is the number six. We feel
We feel afraid. That is the word for the number six. Afraid. And the last one that is the number seven, feeling nervous or uncomfortable meeting or talking to other people. In that case, it's a word of three letters. Shy. Shy, good. Thank you. Okay. So that's the, the cross word number one, but we're going to have the cross word number two later. So in that case, you can uh, study the words that we were uh, seeing in the vocabulary. Then we have, let me see. I have another exercise that is the emotion exercise. And I'm going to write a sentence with three options, and you are going to choose what is the best option for that sentence that I am writing. El siguiente ejercicio, vamos a dejar este crossword eh, para que lo vayamos practicando después. Es como un bono. Um, en este caso voy a escribir oraciones, solo son cinco nada más. Eh, y les voy a dar tres opciones. Ustedes van a escoger cuál es la mejor opción. So we are going to have by sentence, three options per sentence, and you are going to decide what is the best option. So we are going to see. In motion exercise. And we have number one. We were so Does our teacher gave us a pop quiz today? And we have the option, but I wanted to put it like this. And we have annoyed. We have curious and we have modest. Then we have a number two and it says, my puppy is always getting into everything. She's very, and we need to find the word that is the best option for this puppy. So we have here the option and we have accelerate. Ran or curious. Then we have number three, and it says, why is Sarah so quiet today? Why is Sarah so quiet today? She's normally talkative, but today she's quiet. And we have the three options. Shy, withdraw, and lighting. Then we have number four. When you are you feel 
start without hope. And we have the two options. The travel, closing, or compose. And we have the last one that is number five. Five, fail, silver exam. Three times already. But I am. It until I pass it. And we have the option. So then, helpful. And determine. So we have here, let me say this, the design, so we can see the five sentences. So now, here. So many fine. It's kind of short. I mean, small. But we need to see the five sentences. So we have five sentences, and we have three options per sentence. So we need to find the correct answer. So for the number one, it says. We were so that our teacher gave us a pop quiz today. What is the feeling? Annoyed, serious, or modest? Modest. Modest. Annoyed. 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 Nos sentimos molestos porque nos dio un examen sorpresa. Annoyed. We were annoyed. This one. Then, my puppy is always getting into everything. Is very exhilarating, serene, or serious? Serious. 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 Porque dice que a mi perrito, ¿verdad? Le gusta meterse en todo. Es muy curioso. Curioso. Good. Sí. So, we have number three. Why is Sara so quiet today? She's normally talkative, okay, but today she is quiet. Shy. We draw the liar. Shy is there as often? Because nobody is talking that she wants to cry. <laughs> then, it says number four. When you are, you feel sad without hope. Trouble, laughing, and <laughs> Good. And we have number five, and it says, I failed the bar exercise time already, but I am to take it on the So the place is the semana. Good. So. We have completed the part of the exercise in which we are going to talk about the feelings and emotions. And, and now we are going to see the last vocabulary that we have for today. 
that is uh, vocabulary related to gestures and position. In this case, we are talking about the position of the body, uh, some action that we do with the whole uh, body, like some actions that we can do when we are talking or something like this. So we are going to see the uh, gestures and position vocabulary. In this case, maybe you have a knowledge about this vocabulary because it is related to the body and the way in which we did something to talk with people. So in that case, it is not like we are going to find a kind of very, very hard word. In this case, many of these words are very, very known for you because they are very easy. Aquí vamos a encontrar muchas palabras que ya conocemos, muchas frases que ya sabemos cuáles son los significados. Así que don't feel like we are going to use like a uh, kind of hard work. So in this case, it's just to know what are the gestures. We are going to begin with gestures. So for gestures, for gestures, we have the first one. And in this case, this leaf, I will write it in English and in Spanish. It is not like the feeling a vocabulary because in that case, we have the, um, the meaning. In this case, we are going to write it in Spanish. So for this one, we have the number one that is to applaud. That, you know, that is applauded. And also, maybe you know that we have the other word that is clap. That is talking about applauded too. So. Then we have to avoid eye contact. To avoid to avoid eye contact. Do you know what this means? To avoid eye contact in Spanish? Evitar contacto con los ojos. Ah, muy bien. Vamos a construirlo un poquito para que sea más sencillo. Vamos a ponerle evitar contacto visual. Pero está muy bien la respuesta. Evitar contacto visual. Then, to be a slump over something. And this means estar desplomado sobre algo. Then we have to blink. What is the meaning of blink in Spanish? ¿Alguien sabe cuál es el significado de blink? Parpadear. Ah, good, parpadear. Parpadeo. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amazing, parpadear. Then we have to clear one's throat. To clean one. To clean one's throat. In that case, it's... <clears throat> <clears throat> what is the action? Aclarar la garganta. Aclarar la garganta, good. Mm. 
Then we have another one, and it says to clench one fist. To clench. To clench one fist. And what is the meaning of this? Apretar. Apretar el, el puño. El puño. Good. Good. Apretar el puño. Then, this is uh, kind of the same, but changing the part of the body. In this case, it says to clench one. To clench one fist. Apretar los dientes. Exacto. Then we have to fold one's arm. To fold one's arm. To fall is doblar, doblar el brazo. Good, good, doblar el brazo. Then we have to frown. To frown is doing something with this part of the body. Good, producir el seño. Then we have to giggle. To giggle is when we he 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 when we see something funny. What is that? Reírse. Mm -hmm. Es reírse, pero en este caso le vamos a poner risitas, que son como más modestas. Then, to glance at. To glance at. I see something there. So I am. Mirar adelante o echar mm, vistas. Miradas. Sí. It's about miradas. But we say. Echar la velada. Echar un vistazo. Vistazo. Good. Echar un vistazo. Then we have the green. To green. Sonreír. Sonreír, good. Then we have to hug. To hug. Abrazar. To kick. To kick. This is an action that um, football players do when they are. A... Patear. To kick is. Patear. Good. Patear. Then we have. This is very very easy. To kiss. To kiss this one is the other part of a giggle. In this case, it's to laugh. It's reírse. In this case, it's sign up loud. 
then we have to look down. To look down. Mirar abajo. Hacia uh -huh. abajo. Mirar hacia abajo. Then we have the other part that is to look up. Mirar arriba. Then it says to lower one's eyes, to lower one's eyes. In this case, it's not like la mirada hacia abajo. Mm -hmm. But you can change Más abajo. the word. Bajar la mirada. Good. Bajar la mirada. Okay. And what's the difference with to look down? In that case, when you are looking down, you are with your face up and you just move your eyes. And you can do it something like this. Then when you look the, uh, the eyes, you can do something that like this. Con eh, bajar la mirada es cuando nosotros incluso movemos un poco la cabeza para mirar hacia abajo. Pero cuando estamos to look down, solo mirar, o sea, solo utilizar los ojos para eso, no necesitamos mover nuestra cabeza. A veces tiene que ver con el movimiento también de la cabeza. Sure. Y, ¿Cuál sería el, el más apropiado si queremos decir que alguien está, digamos, triste y, y por eso está viendo hacia abajo? ¿Cuál de los dos sería el adecuado? En ese caso es to look down. She is looking down. Ella está mirando hacia abajo porque no nos está mirando a nosotros a la cara. Puede estar presente, pero uh, la mirada la tiene hacia abajo. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. So then we have we have to make a face. To make a face. Mirar de frente. Hacer cara. Hacer cara. Hacer cara. Hacer cara. O hacer los gestos, ¿verdad? Cuando uno eh, siente something else that we don't like, we make faces. And also for this one, we can also have this. That is eh, to make faces. That eh, it says uh, hacer muestras. In the first mm -hmm. one, eh, hacer caras is just like to show feelings through the face. And in the second one, to make faces is to do something funny with the face. Because in some cases, when you eh, make a face, it's very, very natural because you are not controlling sometimes your gestures. But in the other one, you know that if you make faces, maybe you can make someone eh, laugh or something like that. Así que uno es como que no lo controlemos mucho y si algo no nos gusta, se nos nota porque sentimos el ceño, ponemos la boca de lado o giramos los ojos, something like that. Y en el otro es cuando ya sabemos que vamos a hacer una, un gesto para que la otra persona sepa como, mm, o, oh, mm, mm. Something like that, that we console, that in the other one is uncontrolled. So it's kind of the same, but having a different uh, uh, uses for those faces. Uh, then to learn this one. 
when someone is talking and we agree with that person, we do something like this. What is this in Spanish? Sí. Asentir. Asentir, good. Then we have to point at. To point. Apuntar. Mm -hmm. Pero también le llamamos. Señalar. Good, señalar. We have to punch. To punch. Pegar puños. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sí, pegar puños o golpear. We are going to have it here, golpear. And in parentheses, we are going to have puños. Because we have to kick, and in that case, it's using the legs or the feet. Then we have this one. Two, truck. This one is a short word, but in Spanish, it has a long meaning. And it's this kind of um, gestures that we did when we don't know about the situation. Hmm? I don't know. What is this movement? Good, encogerse de hombros. Then we have to slap. To slap. Bofetear. Exacto, a bofetear. To stare. When you are doing something with your cell phone, you are mirar fijamente. Mirar, good, mirar. This one is very easy, I think. Because it's really in the, the sentence we have one feeling, but we can uh, transform into a one word. We are going to have like a long sentence, but you need to find just one word for this. And is to take a deep breath. To take a deep breath. Respiro. Mm -hmm. But in one word, suspirar. Good, suspirar. So we're going to write just one more because it's time to end the session. And it's this one to wing. To wings. I cannot do it well because I, I'm not very like this. It is this action. <laughs> you know what I mean, but I can do it with my face. What is this? Guiñar un ojo. Good. Guiñar el ojo. I can do it. I, I, I try. So. I will write the all words that I have for this vocabulary because tomorrow we are going to see another topic. And you will find these words on your document. So don't worry for the other words that we have about the gestures and position because you are going to find it with the Spanish meaning. So thanks for today. And we are going to see each other tomorrow. Have a really, really good night. Gracias.
Thank you, Good teacher. Night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow.